Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week 42, and this week we're going to be talking about a digital die cutting machine. Now there's lots of digital die cutting machines on the market right now. Um, the one I'm going to show you, um, I've had for a while, they all work sort of similarly in that the device has a cutting blade that cuts to whatever shape you tell it that you want it to cut. Now this particular machine that I'm going to show you uses these little um, little cards that you might be familiar with. These are the kinds of cards that either go on your computer or go on your cameras and things like that. But these cards actually go into my digital die cutting machine like this one, right? And I just insert that into the back. Now these are pre-programmed with bunches of different little designs. Now this one here has got little monsters and robots and things like that. Um, super cute. Um, little little guys like this little ghost. And what it does is it tells you the different sizes that you can make this particular project. So what you would do is you would select the design, then you would select the size, and it will cut that shape which you have selected. Now, I'm going to show you the quilt that I made. What you would do is you take your uh, pre-fused fabric. So we'd fuse these to um, fusible that has paper on the back. And there's a glass cutting surface that comes with your machine. And it etches directly uh, through the fabric, through the fusible, and onto, you know, onto the glass. So that's how you get these very precise, you know, sort of individual small pieces and cuts. And it looks like you spent an awful lot of time taking your scissors and cutting out each individual shape. So I particularly like this little monster here, and I thought he was really cute. So um, again, take a look at the different digital die cutters that are out there. There's a bunch of different brands and select one that you like. Um, some of them can be hooked up to your computer and you can make your own designs, which is really awesome. Uh, there's even a few that will cut vinyl and then you would have stencils, which is even more awesome. So be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muffin.com. You can also subscribe to this channel and get uh, every episode that we make in your newsfeed every single week. And you can be sure to sign up for my newsletter on my website and get a copy of the 52 Technique of the Week checklist so that you can follow along right along with us. And thank you, and I will see you again next week. So bye.